Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. And today is day two of videos that were presented to me by friends or family or subscribers. <laughs> but today we are making Yip Yip, the mini Yip Yip pouch. And I will pop up a picture of what that looks like. And so first, Daryl, my husband, tagged me in a post of a reel showing the Yip Yip pouches or the mini Yip Yip pouches. Oh my goodness, this is going to be... All right. Breathe. <laughs> okay, moving on. So Daryl tagged me in a reel that had the mini Yip Yip crochet pouches. And basically it was to say, hey, you should do this. And then I got an, uh, I was going to say email. I actually got, it was, I got a direct message from on Facebook or messenger from a, um, a friend who sent me, I don't remember if it was the same reel, but it was very similar. It was the mini yip yip. Ouch. That just does not get old. It's going to make me laugh every single time. I apologize. So I want to say thank you, Mark, and thank you, Daryl, for bringing the mini Yip Yip pouch to my attention. However, I have seen it before. I had. I had seen it on Pinterest. I had seen it in on Facebook, but they actually brought it to my attention. So I was like, okay. I need to make this and I need to make it for YouTube. Now I will put a link to the pat the actual pattern that I am using, uh, the reels that I was tagged in or it was sent to me doesn't show the pattern. So I had to look it up and I looked it up on Pinterest, but I will send you, send you, I will put in the description box below the actual link to the pattern that I will be using. That being said, what do we need for the mini Yip Yip pouch? This is my pattern. Hopefully that's not making too much noise. So what you're going to need is a G four millimeter crochet hook, an H five millimeter crochet hook, worsted weight yarn, an accent color yarn for the fringe, white yarn for the eyes, 10 millimeter safety eyes, stitch marker or yarn piece, yarn needle, and scissors. I do not have the safety eyes, so I will not be doing those. I will be making my own eyes with yarn, which is equally as fine. and. I don't think I'm going to use an accent color for this one. I'm just going to do all one color. Obviously, I will do white for the eyes and I will do black because that's what the safety eyes were going to would have been black. So I will use that. And I could not find my four millimeter hook, but I do have a 4.25 millimeter hook. So my eyes will be a little bit bigger for the body of the Yip Yip pouch. I will be using the five millimeter hook as well as some of my vintage yarn. I'm not quite sure what color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it a reddish orange? Red orange? I just thought this would be a fun color to work with. So this will be my color of the mini Yip Yip pouch body as well as the fringe. And then obviously I will use white for the eyes and black for the pupils. Alrighty, I am going to go ahead and get started on the pattern and I will see you back in just a moment.
so I have the body of the mini Yip Yip done and has have its hanger. As you can see, this is the mouth. We are going to be adding the eyes, which I will be starting now, and then the fringe down here. So I'm not entirely sure that I made it, even though I followed directions as I read them, I'm not exactly sure that I made it correctly, but I mean, it's fine. There's, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know that you would know if you didn't know, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start making the eyeballs and yeah, then we will be assembling our mini Yip Yip and finishing them up. But isn't that cute so far? I think that's so, <laughs> that's so funny. The eyeballs are going to go right here. So we'll see. I'm going to start doing them and we'll see how it goes.
guys are you ready for the grand reveal i don't know are you ready for this <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> i i will say that uh the eyeballs aren't exactly equal in shape but you know what it's fine it's fine i think when i do if i do another well no i take that back i am definitely making another one and it will be very similar to this one but if i make more then i think i want the little the hanger to be a little bit longer but as you can see i did stitch on the eyeballs or the pupils because uh, I don't have any safety eyes. I already said that. And I did go ahead and do an alternating color. I think that's really pretty cool. And because, because the red or orange, whatever color this, this, the main body is, uh, I was using from the outside, not the center. It was very straight. And then when I did the gray, I pulled from the center and it's it's really curly but that actually I think is pretty cool I think that's pretty interesting and I would like to eventually brush this out to make it not um to make it more hair like I guess I don't know I don't know the picture doesn't show that it's brushed out it looks just like this and I might want to trim up and make sure they're all even but that's kind of difficult with the gray because it is kind of curly. So, man, this is pretty funny. Does he look scared? <laughs> and I, I seriously, I'm not sure exactly where I went wrong on the face part. And because it's all wonky. It's all wonky. And I could have probably put the eyeballs differently on there differently but I didn't <laughs> but there you go a mini yip yip ready for hanging <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> and you can you can put stuff because he is he is um he has a pouch. There is a, it's hard to see now, but there is a bottom. I can't go all the way through. There is a bottom. So you, if you want to, you can put stuff in it and it'll hold. Here, let, let, let's make him eat some scissors. There you go. <laughs> Could you imagine getting, um, oh, what, what is that pegboard? 
getting a pegboard with a bunch of hooks and then hanging these, like a bunch of them, to store your your notions in. Could you imagine? Here's hooks. There you go. <laughs> you have a place to... And then just hang them all on the pegboard. <laughs> that would be too funny. Or in your office and stick a bunch of pens or markers, whatever, your crafting supplies that you have. Oh, my goodness. This was really fun to make. I want to say thank you to my husband, Daryl, for tagging me and for Mark sending me the, uh, the video <laughs> of the mini yip yip. <laughs> this was really fun. I enjoyed this immensely. <laughs> I am probably, well, I already know I'm making another one at least so that my grandkids won't fight over this one. But uh, <laughs> I might make a bunch of these and hopefully I'll get better. Actually, no, I know. I know I'll get better. I need to buy the safety, safety eyes, but. That being said, I am glad that I don't have the safety eyes for the ones that for this one and the other one that I'm going to make cuz even though they don't really chew on their toys, it's still good that they won't have the opportunity to pop off one of the the pupils. <laughs> this was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I need practice on making the eyeballs because they are so not the same at all. <laughs> and then I need to, the body part is really easy. It's the, the face or the head that got me kind of, because it's one, it's not very even and two, it's, I don't know. I, I honestly, I have no idea what I did <laughs> and it's kind of skewed so i don't know i but no i love it i love it i think it's hilarious and i want to make one for the car <laughs> could you imagine oh my goodness <laughs> maybe i shouldn't make one for the car because that would probably be really distracting Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I would like it or appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Are you gonna make these? The directions, or, yeah, the pattern that I used is in the description box below. And if you do make it, let me know. What colors did you choose? And... <laughs> I hope you have fun. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's get back to saying goodbye. Uh, like, leave me a comment. If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, remember, <laughs> gravity works, guys. Oh my gosh, you are just too weird. You're weird. Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Dude. <laughs> mm.